Hello, welcome to 5-Minute Fertility, where you can learn fertility facts in less than five minutes. I'm Dr. Stephen Sowen from South Jersey Fertility Center, and today we're going to be talking about oral ovulation induction. The most common medication used for this is called clomiphene citrate, more commonly known as Clomid. Let's review the normal menstrual cycle. We know that at the beginning of the menstrual cycle, if you looked within the ovary, you would see some small circles called follicles, which contain the eggs. These follicles are waiting their turn to grow into a mature egg to release um, from the ovary. At the time of the normal menstrual cycle, there'll be various hormones at baseline. One of the most important hormones is called follicle stimulating hormone, which is made by the pituitary gland and is somewhat elevated early in the cycle. This follicle stimulating hormone is going to the follicles to stimulate their growth. As the follicle grows, it makes a very important hormone called estrogen, which rises in the bloodstream. That estrogen level will go back to the pituitary gland to tell it that everything's working fine and the FSH level will start to decline. Some women have difficulty making a follicle grow and need help. So Clomid was designed as an anti-estrogen basically tricking the body's pituitary gland into thinking that the ovary is not working at all. And so the pituitary, not sensing any estrogen from the ovary, will make more FSH to start to drive follicle development uh, to the point where ovulation can occur. I'd like to show you why we use Clomid. Um, Clomid is typically used to help women ovulate if they're not ovulating on their own, but also can be used to enhance fertility by helping women make more than one egg, uh, thereby rolling more dice, getting a better chance of one being fertilized and creating a pregnancy. It is also used commonly to help women ovulate to time a sperm insemination for men that may have low sperm counts. It's important to realize that Clomid is about as effective as normal fertility in women who are not ovulating on their own, which is about 20% per try. Uh, some women who are older or have other fertility problems may have lower fertility rates in any one given month of Clomid. The side effects of this medication are due to its anti-estrogen properties, and they can occur in about 10% of women. These side effects include uh, moodiness, nausea, headaches, breast tenderness, and bloating. The other important things to know about Clomid are that it can cause more than one egg to release, so there's a higher risk of twins, which is averaging about 7% with a range of 5 to 10%. Let me show you how we use Clomid at South Jersey Fertility Center. Um, we will see patients on the third day of the menstrual cycle to do an ultrasound and blood work to make sure that there are no cysts in the ovaries and that the hormones are at the right level. If that is the case, Patients will take Clomid for five days from the third to the seventh day of the cycle, although Clomid can be started on day four or day five. We will ask for intercourse to occur starting around day 10, and we will do an ultrasound on day 12 to see if follicles have grown to the right size. If they have, we can administer a shot called Ovidril to trigger the release of the eggs for either timed intercourse at home or an intrauterine insemination. There are other medications that can be used in addition or as a substitute to Clomid. For example, a medication called Letrozole, uh, commonly known as Femera, or Tamoxifen. These are both anti-estrogens used primarily for breast cancer, but there have been extensive research studies showing that they can be effective for fertility as well. One study showed that Letrozole may be better for patients with polycystic ovary syndrome and tamoxifen and letrozole can be used for patients who develop a thin lining on Clomid. I hope this has been helpful for you to understand our use of oral ovulation induction. Please tune in for other five-minute fertility videos to learn fertility facts in less than five minutes.